Hello, everyone. You may have noticed that both in life and in the movies, often the quietest and humblest character turns out to be a bad guy. As a rule, when we see them, we think they wouldn't hurt anyone. That's how innocent they look. But appearances can be deceiving, and this, by the way, applies not only to people. In the animal world, the quietest and shyest animals can end up being true predators. These creatures are usually smaller than their victims, but this does not prevent them from winning the fiercest battles. Today, we will talk about these animals and show you that nature can always surprise us. Let's get it on! Mantis we usually think that reptiles eat insects and not the other way around. But are you sure? Turns out there's one exception. Mantises are considered an incredibly aggressive predator, especially when they're hungry. What's most surprising is that when a mantis really craves food, it can attack much larger animals. For example, lizards. <laughs> rodents, and even birds. But the mantis's favorite dish are small, young snakes, which it can kill in seconds. <coughs> By the way, this insect can rotate its head 180 degrees, which helps it detect its victims. After finding its target, the mantis will either chase it slowly or wait patiently for it to approach, hiding in the grass. Once the victim is close enough, the insect strikes. And its movements are so fast that it's difficult to see them with the naked eye. It's helped by its strong front legs, which are equipped with many tiny spikes. Even poisonous animals, like wasps, red spiders, and black widows, can end up being the mantis's dinner. Patience and top-notch camouflage help it deceive its opponents. That's right, these insects are also camouflage gurus. They blend brilliantly with the leaves, and sometimes even imitate the shaking movements of plants to add extra realism. In addition, some species of this insect can even paint themselves black in the area where a fire has recently occurred. This is how they manage to camouflage themselves in scorched earth. Giant Trevally Here's a simple question from Biology 101. What do birds normally eat? If you answered insects and fish, you're right, kind of. It turns out that it can happen the other way around. Some predatory fish don't mind eating birds. For example, the giant trevally, which lives in the tropical waters of the Indo-Pacific region. The largest fish of this species can reach more than one and a half meters in length and weigh about 80 kilograms. No wonder these large creatures need a high-protein diet. Giant trevallies eat other fish, clams and crustaceans, and some large specimens also eat birds. By the way, remains of turtles and dolphins have been found in the stomachs of some of these predators. In the case of birds, these fish usually hunt them in large flocks, jumping out of the water at the right time and grabbing their prey in the air. To do this, the fish need to calculate accurately the speed, the altitude of flight, and the trajectory of the bird, which sounds pretty complicated. By the way, there are other fish in the wild that hunt birds. For example, the African tigerfish is capable of hunting swallows. To do so, these predators ambush them near the surface of the water and jump on the birds gliding above the water. Otter Despite their adorable appearance, Otters are dangerous predators to many freshwater fish. By the way, these mammals are not as small as you may think. They usually weigh up to 13 kilograms and grow to one meter in length. And the most interesting thing is that otters are quite voracious animals. To maintain their body temperature, they have to eat about 15% of their own weight every day. And that's a lot. Imagine if you had to do the same. As we said, otters eat mainly fish, but they also tend to hunt clams, crabs, and small mammals. But, as has been discovered, under the right circumstances, these cute marine creatures can also hunt much larger prey. Here's an example. A crocodile decided to attack one of the smaller members of a large otter family, but faced unexpected resistance. The otters decided to rescue their little brother. The images show the otters swimming together towards the enemy. First, they surround him and begin to annoy him by grabbing his tail. Soon it becomes a full-fledged attack. The animals pounce on the crocodile and drown him, yelling a battle cry. The crocodile runs into the bushes trying to escape, but it's too late. The furious fighters strike one last blow and retreat. Unfortunately, two members of the otter family were killed in this deadly battle. Octopus What underwater creature can be more fearsome than a shark? Well, maybe a killer whale. 
wrong. Sometimes nature plays nasty tricks on its creatures, and sometimes a poor shark is attacked by an octopus. That's right, not the other way around. Well, to be fair, this story is about a relatively small shark known as spiny dogfish. This predatory fish is about a meter long and weighs about 10 kilograms. However, it's still a dangerous predator, and the smaller inhabitants of the ocean try to avoid it. But the giant octopus is very different, as its tentacles can stretch to 10 meters. With these deadly weapons, this underwater monster can easily strangle a small shark. Octopi are also terribly cunning. For example, they can use shells or coral reefs to blend in with the seabed. But if you've seen Finding Dory, the charismatic octopus Hank probably taught you everything you need to know. Mongoose this snake known as Black Mamba has almost no enemies in nature. This snake creeps at a speed of 11 kilometers per hour, often attacking first with its poisonous bite, which does not leave the enemy a chance to escape. It's believed that a single bite from this reptile can kill 15 adult men. Every year, the venom of the Black Mamba kills about 20,000 people, mainly in Africa, not to mention much smaller mammals. However, there is one exception. The beautiful mongoose, which lives mainly in Africa and Madagascar and weighs no more than than five kilograms. The English writer Rudyard Kipling, famous for the Jungle Book, wrote about the mongoose's fearlessness against poisonous snakes. The hero of one of his stories was Ricky Ticky Tavi, a brave mongoose who easily fought off poisonous reptiles. But this is not just fiction, it's a real life hero. Most mongooses feed on small rodents, insects, and berries. If they do attack snakes, it's mostly because they compete for food. At the same time, a mongoose never attacks a snake first. Instead, it mocks its enemy and provokes it to attack. Then the cunning beast bites the reptile's neck and kills it. But what about the poison, you say? Some people erroneously believe that mongooses are simply not susceptible to poison. That's not entirely true. A slight mutation in these animals does prevent the poison from affecting some receptors. However, it's unlikely that the mongoose will survive if it receives multiple bites. So their main secret is agility and speed. And courage, of course. Wasp. The king baboon spider is the largest tarantula in all of Africa. It has eight powerful limbs and can grow to the size of a small bird. You might think that no animal would attack it, but there are some exceptions. Not long ago, scientists discovered several species of wasp that turned spiders into real zombies. A zombie. They not only attack the spiders, but also immobilize them with their impressive sting full of venom. Then, the wasp lays an egg on the victim's abdomen while it's still alive. But that's not the end of the poor spider's torment. When the larva hatches, something really bizarre starts to happen. After injecting a special hormone, the larva forces the spider's body to molt and create cocoons around it. Eventually, the larva simply devours its victim, and they use the web as their home for the future pupation process. We agree that this sounds pretty scary, but that's just how nature works. Works. Jaguar. What do cats fear more than anything else in the world? That's right, water. And it's not just a pointless phobia. In fact, cats have good reasons not to get wet. Firstly, getting in the water means risking suffering from hypothermia. And cats, unlike dogs, have no habit of warming themselves with the help of their peers. Secondly, wet fur produces a very strong smell, scaring off prey and attracting other predators. In addition, it collects more dust and dirt, which then enters the stomach when they're licking themselves. Despite all this, in most cases, cats can swim no matter their size. And some cats love to play in a pond or even hunt in it. This is one of those cases. In this video, a majestic jaguar decides to attack an unusual prey, a huge crocodile. Watch this spectacular jump into the water from a high bank. Here's another similar case where a spectacled caiman has no chance of winning either. The jaguar attacks it suddenly and quickly, without giving the reptile a chance to defend itself. However, it's not common for wild cats to attack this kind of animal. They're more likely to resort to this option in extreme cases, where there is not enough usual prey, such as capybaras, monkeys, and turtles. By the way, here's another interesting fact about jaguars. Not long ago, scientists learned that these predators eat special leaves containing psychoactive substances, and they don't do it by mistake. After consuming this plant, the jaguar rolls around on the ground, like a house cat after eating catnip. Later, however, the psychoactive substance will greatly improve the sensory perception of wild cats and make hunting easier. So the jaguars may have gone a little too far with doping. That's all for today, friends. See you soon!